how to work with nested ternary operator yes friends today we are going to discuss about how to work with nested ternary operator so without wasting any time further let's proceed with today's episode hello everyone welcome to programming perception this is the 6th episode of queries and demands i am amit kumar and today we are going to discuss about how to work with nested ternary operator so to work with nested ternary operator you should know what is a ternary operator so a ternary operator is an operator that operates on three operands okay so th there is a certain syntax of using ternary operator now let me show you the syntax so we provide a condition there is a question mark there is a colon and there is a semicolon now this semicolon is not part of the ternary operator this question mark and this colon is ternary operator now there are three operands which we work on so let me keep this semicolon separate and let me give you those operands over here so the first operand is it can be a variable a constant or an expression so anything that is returning a value can be here similarly there will be a variable or an expression after this colon so the idea is there is a condition over here now instead of condition i should better write there is a boolean expression okay now this boolean expression can evaluates to true or false now if this expression is true the this variable or expression is returned or if this expression is false then this variable or expression is returned so actually this conditional operator or ternary operator is used to return a value depending upon the value of the boolean expression now this is a ternary operator right now where this value will be returned definitely to any variable on the left hand side of this equals to or assignment operator right now this is a basic ternary operator now we are going to discuss how to work with nested ternary operator right now to understand the situation to understand the scenario i am taking example of a program in which we will accept three numbers from the user and we will return largest of the three number so we will write this program and we will use logic of nested ternary operator definitely the same program can be done with nested if else or if else if ladder or any other way you want right so it totally depends on you here i'm creating first of all i'm creating the scanner object and i hope you are knowing how to do that so let me first write down the code that i want to write and then i will tell you how we have done this fine so i have written the code over here definitely i have not implemented the logic with nested ternary operator that i am going to perform right now now here i have created the scanner object i have asked the user to enter three numbers that i have accepted in three variables num1 num2 and num3 i have created an lar variable to store the largest number and here i have implemented the logic of finding the largest of three number with nested if else so definitely we are not going to use this and i am commenting them out okay so we will not use this in our program so instead of this we are going to implement the logic of nested ternary operator so let's see how we will do that so here i will create the variable in which i will store the value now the first condition is to check out of num1 and num2 which one is greater now my suggestion is this is a trick whenever you are giving the condition always give the condition in pair of parentheses so that will not make any difference in the statement 
okay so num1 is greater than num2 and then we will put the question mark and then a colon and then a semicolon now the next hint or suggestion though we don't use braces in nested ternary operator but while coding or while writing down the code in your uh, paper you can use pencil temporarily you can use these braces temporarily you can use these braces so later down the line we are going to remove them anyhow so i'm putting these braces over here fine now this brace is representing the block when this condition will be true and this brace is representing the block when this condition will be false right so we are going to put another ternary operator here and one more ternary operator over here okay so let's do that so here i'm going to give a condition now the situation says we are going to come in this brace in this block when num1 is greater than num2 definitely here we are going to check the second condition and the second condition is num1 is greater than num3 or not so that i'm going to check here now if this condition is true we are going to return something and if this condition is false we are going to return something now definitely we are in this block that means num1 is already greater than num2 now we will check num1 is greater than num3 or not so if it is greater than num3 definitely this condition evaluates to true and it will come in this part between question mark and colon otherwise it will come in this part between colon and this brace right so here num1 is greater definitely we are going to return num1 when this condition is true that means num1 is the largest number of the three and if this condition is false definitely we are going to return num3 now this is the same logic that we were using in this nested if else situation right so let me put the num3 over here fine similarly when this condition is false we will come to this block okay so in this block again we are going to check one more condition so this should be num3 okay there's a typo over there so let me check this condition first so num2 is greater than num3 or not and this condition we will check in this block fine and then after a question mark and a colon now if this condition is true definitely num2 is the largest number so we will return num2 and if this condition is false definitely num3 is the largest one so we will return num3 fine so now as we have already implemented the logic i am just removing this logic from here and now our whole logic of nested ternary operator is implemented actually the whole nested if else is converted into this nested ternary operator definitely you will get these errors because these braces are there so the next step is to remove these braces carefully remove these braces so while you are put putting them please provide extra spaces and be careful while you are removing so fine you have written the whole nested ternary operator statement successfully and now we can run this program and see the largest of the three numbers so let me clear this out okay fine and let me compile this and let me run this so i am entering three numbers 10 20 30 and definitely 30 is the largest number i am entering these three numbers in any order definitely it will always print 30 as the largest number okay so this is our code a very simplified version of nested if else so we can definitely use this nested ternary operator whensoever you want to write the code in shorter form so that's it in this episode please like this video and share it if you really liked it and leave your comments for our improvement that's it from our side thank you and happy programming